Hi guys, welcome back to another video. Today we are out in a new town for me. I hadn't heard the, of this town till in the last year or so. Um, it's called Wymore, Nebraska. I'm not a native Nebraskan. I moved here when I was about 10. And so I feel like I never know the small towns. And maybe it's just a lack of paying attention. <laughs> but we have a couple in our church who um, took over his father's church when he passed away and it's out in Wymore, Nebraska and today Solo and I are here. Solo speaking. We just pulled up. It's like an hour from our church and um, we're setting him in as the pastor. So anyway, um, we're excited to be here. It's a small country church out here. It's so fun. Oh no! <laughs> How's it going? Are you excited? Uh, not really. What? Scared. <laughs> scared to meet new people. <laughs> Are you excited, Seth? Did you know yeah, we were going to a different like church? Yeah. Hi. They don't come to you like, oh, we know it all. No. It's like all of us, God can direct us at any time. Okay, that was so fun um, going to that church. I didn't get much video of it because I didn't want to video people that didn't know they were going to be on video, but it was fun. It was a potluck afterward, true country style church. And um, Peace is singing her way home. So we're on our long drive home now. <laughs> wow, this is quite the get up. Costumes on top of dresses. Okay. Sister's clothes on top of your clothes. Riding the bike with a bag on the front and a blanket on the back. Whoa! All right, it's the next day. We've got too much going on today. As usual, I really do mean it. It's too much <laughs> for my brain today. Today is Nia's last day in town, full day. She leaves tomorrow afternoon. So I have things I want to take her. <laughs> These kids are having so much fun with the slide, though. I have... Oh! I have things I want to take her to places shopping. I want to make her some spice mixes, so I'll show you what I'm doing with that. That she'll make, she wants to learn to make at home. And then um, ranch, they don't get ranch there very easily. Uh, and homemade ranch is way better. So I'm making her that and some sausage seasoning, maybe taco seasoning mix. And I want to just send her a bunch home as well. And then, um, my parents are here at the new house, helping clean out the kitchen cupboards. Um, we have someone cleaning bathrooms today here, maybe the wood floor, and it's just, there's a lot of moving parts. Still a lot to be done on the house. We were supposed to maybe have the final inspection today or tomorrow, but that's not happening because of a fireplace issue. <laughs> so it'll be like the end of the week, which is disappointing news, but anyway, progress little by little. So. I'll show you today. Oh, and then we're having a big dinner tonight. Our pond is disappearing every single day. More every day. I, I've never seen it this slow. Our church has a small pond that is almost gone. And I really hope that doesn't happen to ours. No, just keep going on the stairs. They get a lot of exercise running. All right, these people are working. They're cleaning. They're cleaning and cleaning. You can see on his video, he'll he'll show you how how, yes, how beat he is. <laughs> Sir, your builders are some of the messiest. Oh people. come on! <laughs> I don't think anybody builds clean. We're gonna try out the dishwashers too. Yeah, we're gonna clean all that. Let me help you. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay, we did the last of the shopping at Marshall's, which is Home Goods too, and I needed to go into Home Goods. Look at this. We're gonna get rain. First time in months, I think. Well, nope. I take that back. It rained on the wedding day. <laughs> How could I forget? That was a month ago. Five weeks ago. We need rain bad. Um anyway, the house is getting it was getting clean today some. It looks so much better. The just the dust level. My dad's done so much cleaning, my mom and my dad. Well, I was at Home Goods. I really wanted to get baskets. We plan to have baskets on all of these shelves. I wanted them open with baskets. So I hadn't gotten them yet, but at Home Goods, you know, they only have like, it's hard to even find two of the same kind. So like I have two here of the same. I have one there and one there that match. Everything else is different. So I don't know, what do you guys think? It's hard to find baskets online. They're all like uniform. 
and this kind of size that aren't too expensive. Home Goods has good prices, but um, yeah, I just do you think it looks too eclectic <laughs> or is it cool? I like my laundry system with a lot of people is that I do the laundry, pull it right out of the dryer, and then I divide it into individual baskets. So each child will have their own basket, and Solo and I, our teenagers 13 and up, do their own laundry, and then I'll have one like for kitchen stuff. So maybe I don't have quite enough right now, I'm not sure. But I'll make it work. Anyway, they come, take their own basket, and go fold it and put it away. This also helps, like if I'm folding the really little ones laundry, I know where to find theirs. If I haven't had a chance to fold it and put it away myself yet, I know exactly where to go for clean underwear for peace. You know what I mean? I just go to her basket. So that's my laundry system that makes things very quick and easy. We actually have a laundry chute in this big cupboard that doesn't have a handle yet. Um, and yeah. So let's see, Eli and Down don't do their laundry. So Eli, Noel, Hope, Des, Seth, P, Solo, and I. Oh, and then I figured, um, like kitchen towels, or kitchen washcloths and towels, and I don't know, something else, no, miscellaneous. This is mine. Oh, is that one yours? Okay, I told them they could all pick their own, but that's what we're doing. This is something I got, and this was a plan as well. It's a laundry, fold out laundry hook. It looks like this when it folds out. And it will just hook to the wall. I didn't want any hooks, um, but it folds into the wall. Does that make sense? So I don't hang things a lot, but then when I hang the kids' church clothes, things like that, actually one of these baskets could just hold hangers. Um, then I would hang them up here and they'll come get their own and go put them in their closet. So that is the deal with that, or Solo's clothes or mine, I guess. Anyway, it's pretty cool. It folds out pretty far. And they're gonna install that there. So that was the plan from the beginning is to install a fold out bar. But yeah, it's coming together, so fun. It looks so clean. Hooks got put in. All of these cubbies have three triple hooks all the way around. It's a lot of them. It's so fun to see everything clean. It's like seeing it new. <laughs> Travis just replaced the fridge door. Yep. He's doing all the, yep. he has to do all the menial jobs that are left at the end. He probably wants to be done with us. Under my supervision. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I'm sure he finds yeah. you very helpful. I very. Tried, I tried Dexter, <laughs> yeah. he's around. Yeah. <laughs> Shoot, get out of here, man. <laughs> I filled these shelves last night. It's so fun. Just, <laughs> just with our canned tomatoes and corn. Everybody that's been in here today said they want to come shopping in here. <laughs> but it's fun to put stuff in cupboards and just clean it up. Not everything. We can't put stuff in everything yet, but there's a few spots. Some jars. I was given a bunch of jars just a month ago. That are, and some of them are so pretty. Uh, that would be 50 cents a can. <laughs> that's right. How much for this? Did you bring your own bag? <laughs> I tell you, you can't come in here and not oh, say, no, I think we're in the mood for chili tonight. Yes. <laughs> Taco oh, soup for chili. Well, that's yeah. what we're doing. You know, it is going to be nice to have everything visible, in, visible and uh, set up in an order. In one spot. And so that you'll be able to, I mean, you haven't done this for months now, almost a year, two years. A year and a half, yep. Um, where you can say, this is what we're having, get this, get this, do this. Yeah. Done. Well, in the two, we've had stuff stored everywhere. Even yeah. in our other house, we were like, this yeah, closet, this closet. The, place. the coat closet had yeah. cans. Well, let me ask you this. <laughs> and um, now it'll I know all be this here. This is all dry and sundry goods and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. And then you've got your freezer and meats and all that kind mm -hmm. of stuff, so you know what's in there, and you sort of divide the freezers up. Then, um, is this mostly the, the new fridges that just like your milk, your butter, uh, things that it's are everything, every, every fridge thing? Because I don't think we're moving a second fridge. Oh, you're not going to put a second in the garage, okay? Yeah, so it'll be all our stuff yeah. that we stock well, up you on. certainly have room for it. That's and the nice thing is you see what you have better when you have the space to store it all together. Yeah, absolutely. And I do love absolutely. that part. Yeah. So I have a lot more to bring here, but um, you know, we just some cleaned, appliances I just there. cleaned out my fridge and I was talking to somebody else that did that after years. I haven't, you know, I've done yeah. it for 10 years. And, I mean, I pulled everything out and cleaned it, but then I threw away what, what 
You can believe how much room. Oh, freezers I had. do that, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. In my fridge. You can correct. Clean. You, we have to clean our whole fridge out, pull everything out, like at least once a month. Do you really? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Things oh, will get buried and go yeah, bad. Buried. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. Anyway, we have two bread machines, two pressure cookers. That's not yeah. one, it's just something two else right now. Crock two crock pot. pots, that, that one's at the house. Roaster. A roaster. A microwave will go in the middle somewhere what there. What else do you have? Uh, uh, I think appliances uh, that. Because you're going to keep like your uh, so the big bread uh, dough machine out here. Yeah, the 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 big blender, the yeah machines will be on the counter. We just so. can't plug anything in yet till the final inspection. Yeah, we'll keep stuff out. Yeah, we're not supposed to look like great. we live here. Yeah, it's going to be great. And we use the dishwashers a lot today. Oh boy, we did. We worked them, and I even worked your stove over a little bit. Yep. So what? Okay, we're making a big batch of breakfast sausage seasoning. We're using things like garlic powder and salt, crushed red pepper flakes, sage. parsley, sage, thyme, pepper, black pepper, nutritional yeast. And I just kind of put all that together. I can write a rough recipe down below, but then um, if I don't have some things that I use sometimes, it always still tastes amazing. So we're just making a big batch here. Yeah, can you find all this stuff in Kenya? Oh, yeah. Just fine powder, oh, yeah. powdered and dried yeah. rather? Sage, couple, what? She said she even has nutritional yeast at home, so yeah. that worked out. Which you don't have to have that, so, but. Yeah. Okay, we made a nice batch of ranch too. All right, it is Auntie Nya's going away dinner. And she requested chicken Alfredo. Judah's chicken Alfredo. None other. So Judah's cooking the most chicken Alfredo at once that he's ever done. He makes very good ones. This fettuccine. We've got Sam's Club green baked beans, green beans. Woo! We're making homemade yogurt because I wanted to show Nya and we needed some Parmesan cheese for his stuff, his spices, chicken, solo grilled, a lot of steaks. I think like two more pans of it. And we always cut up some for the little ones. I've never made this much Alfredo before. I'm thinking if this works out. I'm a little nervous, but if it works out, I should maybe open a restaurant. For sure. That is a huge pot. <laughs> that is a lot of Alfredo. <laughs> we'll see how it goes. She said she ate it in Kenya at an Italian restaurant. She tried to make it herself. None of them compared to Judah's. So now the pressure's on. Annie's making it for like, I think I counted 23, 24 of us? 24. 24 people. No, 25. No big deal. <laughs> we got a house full. Nobody can say we didn't host in our tiny house era. We host a lot. 25 tonight, I think. Or maybe more. <laughs> we have a huge table full. And then not everybody even fit. We've got the couch section. We're the cool people over here on the couches. Yeah. <laughs> Many, many goodbyes have been said and now they're checking in. It feels very traditional. Mm -hmm. The night before, Solo has his computer out. It's a familiar setting. Oh, we're pulling bags out, new extra bags. Because you always go to Kenya needing extra bags. Always. I'll just come and say, oh, I'm fine. Yep. Uh-oh, we need another bag. <laughs> All right, the time is going. It's dwindling down now. We're weighing suitcases. <laughs> Seeing all we can shove in. You have two pounds. I was able to send some of this to one of my sister-in-laws. If you're a Kenyan and you know where to get this for preserving eggs, for water glassing eggs, yeah. We want to know. Please, yes. <laughs> please tell us. <laughs> We've been printing off pictures for uh, cousins, for Talia and Elsie and Anna, Elsie oh. and Anna, and draw, writing letters. All right, we've replaced ink. We got photo paper. We're just gonna send a couple pictures, wedding pictures to Nya Nya, and one with Auntie Nya. That'll be nice. Are you doing the big family wedding picture? For Auntie Nya? For Nya Nya. Well, maybe, yeah, for I Auntie mean, Nya, too. Uh, for so many yeah. Nyas. Right now it's 
printing a picture of me and Anna. Oh, but that's we, nice. But we are printing it. I'm gonna send it to Anna. Oh, she'll love that. So I had told you in the last video that we were going to have um, our maybe our final inspection Monday or Tuesday. It's now Tuesday. We found out one inspection, one smaller inspection failed last week at the end of the week, and one smaller one failed yesterday. Now that one passed, so the final one hasn't been is not able to be scheduled yet because we have one more that needs to pass. And it's there's like some valve on a fireplace that's not coming in till Wednesday. They're not doing it till Wednesday, which is tomorrow. So, um, I just need to stay out of the house now. <laughs> of course, we've been working on it, which is great, but it's a lot. I just, I just need to stay out till it's done. I feel like <laughs> I won't. Maybe the final inspection Thursday or Friday now. Um, not getting my hopes up. I had to edit this morning to get a video um, that was due to a brand. And then, uh, should we be doing school today? Yes. Do we have focus for school today? No. That has been hard in this season. We've just had so much going on. We've done, we plowed through school for a while. <laughs> and then a couple weeks after the wedding, but then we took a trip and now um, we're seeing Auntie Nia off. It's just hard to focus. Focus is a real issue. <laughs> Solo's just laughing at me. Speaking to the choir. <laughs> it's hard. But, you know, these days are fleeting when you have family here from the other side of the world. You want to spend every minute with them. And it's really hard to see Auntie Nya go. I was just telling her, it's not like we'll, we know we'll just see you in a few months. That's the hard part. Not even like five months, probably. It, it, the reality is it will likely be years and I hate that part of course we talk on the phone and things like that but it is not the same it's not the same so we'll see we, we have no idea when we'll see her again she may come back here before we are able to get everybody there or maybe solo will be over there earlier who knows but yeah goodbyes are always hard it's a little sad Notice Belle's not been up here much. Her and Tori have a special connection with Auntie Nia. It's extra hard for them. So right now we're trying to find power cords for, we had two very large TVs in our other house that we've been storing at a friend's house because they didn't fit. But in the move of everything, like where are the power cords for those TVs? <laughs> so now we need the power cords. And we're trying to find them because we've hung the TVs in the new house. When we move into a very small house, we've been here fully for a year and a half. We, we had to just like, we couldn't fully move in, but we didn't want to give away everything because we knew we were going to an even bigger house eventually. But we were in such a small space, so we've got things like stashed in the bottom of closets and in garages, and so we're trying to find power cords. <laughs> That would be a shame. I'm sure we could replace those power cords. But they're here somewhere. That's the thing. <laughs> so that's our life right now. It's someone, it's someone down at the new house saying, we need power cords for these televisions. And us saying, where are those? <laughs> and then spending a lot of time trying to find them. <laughs> we found our luggage locks for Auntie Nya. Those are fun, huh? Yeah. <laughs> I just don't know the right key to put in with them. Mm -hmm. I kind of see that. Just, How sweet. Mm -hmm. Wow, you guys made pictures for I her. That's so nice. That's too sweet. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> there are a lot of moving parts here today. I feel like I say that a lot, but it's happening here. <laughs> Lots of parts. My dad's over, He, I think he goes back to Florida tomorrow. We were hoping we would be moving in this week or last, and he really wanted to help with the kitchen. But he needs to go back. Um, and he has helped me a ton, actually, but just not being able to decide where everything goes. He helped clean it out. Anyway, he wanted to cook for his channel, he has a channel, and he wanted to cook the first meal in the new kitchen. And he used the stove today, and he cooked for the guys working there and for yeah, her last lunch before she leaves. I told him not everybody would let you do this. <laughs> I 
not everyone would Luke let you do this on your on his new stove <laughs> I'm so happy you did it actually because he took the books home he uh, studied them and then he taught me all the things about my new stove and oven so that worked out really well and I think they're actually painting the door finally the door is like the very last thing sure enough I've been anxious because I wasn't sure if I'd like it because I'm getting gotten used to seeing it white all the time and now it's black. I like it a lot, actually, a lot. The white is coming through because the other side is a white, a cream, the color of our cabinets. So it's highlighting the squares. I don't know if you can tell that, the window panes, but it's very pretty. I like it a lot. Um, phew, so glad. Actually, I think it really helps complete things. We're gonna do some landscaping eventually here and the plan is to have in this space here, I would really like a flowering tree. We have one in front of our small house that is so pretty in the spring and I love looking out my kitchen windows at it. So I think it'll look really pretty right there and then some bushes and stuff, some low maintenance things. But yeah, it looks so nice. Gary brought a big pile of rocks and he'll, he's gonna spread those later today. It's so fun to finally see it painted, wow. We're in the car. She said her finger's broken. It's actually her fingernail. It's just a fingernail. <laughs> Your finger's broken. <laughs> We're going to the airport. We're going to say bye to Auntie Nia. Are you going to be sad? No. You going to smile for her? Okay. Hope really wants to go. <laughs> oh, you want to that? She's 70 years old. Oh, two people, the other one is six years old. Two seats. Oh, you have no more seats? Oh, that's too bad. Okay, bye. We just said Nia's gearing up to sleep for 24 hours because she's she has the gift of sleeping while traveling. It doesn't even matter how she's traveling. She will fall asleep. <laughs> <laughs> we take up the whole escalator. <laughs> <laughs> 